Rich, pretty much everyone I know under the the sun was mm. saying that Until Dawn was going to be garbage. But I was like, it's actually going to be pretty good. Do you know what, Rich? I was right. You love wheeling this out. I've heard this I before. Do. I do. I do. You, love you were ahead of the out. curve. No one else knew. You exactly. <laughs> you you knew. You knew. And, and speaking of Until Dawn, this is effectively the spiritual successor. Yeah. It's not really a sequel. It's um, more Until Dawn stuff from mm-hmm. Supermassive Games, um, yep. which is more Until Dawn than it is the Dark Pictures anthology. Yeah, it looks that way, because Dark Pictures, those games are fairly short, right? Two, three hours? Yeah, yeah. So I went hands-on with this um, very recently. I uh, played about an hour just to get a feel for it. Um, and it's been a while since, because I've not played any of the Dark Picture stuff in a while. Yeah. Um, like, have you? No, I played Man of Medan, and um, I yeah, disliked like, that, was... that so much that I didn't yeah, want to yeah, play yeah, any yeah. others. Well, there's, there's new stuff, like, in terms of, like, um, it's obviously choice and consequence. You make yeah. choices, you left or right, and it's quick time events and all that kind of thing. Um, but there's other stuff that they've introduced, things like um, like f- almost free-roaming sections where mm-hmm. you, you, you don't, you're not stuck with the... The set cameras and stuff like that and you can it's almost like this this 3d world that you can explore yeah. which is pretty cool which i don't because i've not played um a dark pictures since man and madan like you yeah. but i was i actually found man and madan to be okay i was just waiting for okay. them all to come out just to blitz them um but you never but go around stuff to it. like that no not yeah. yet I mean, are they all out now um i think the majority of them are i think there's maybe another two or three come in yeah because mm. like, i thought it was five well, there was, a, there was a leak, wasn't there, with a whole bunch of logos and titles, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So, yeah, but this is obviously a much longer experience. Um, it's got more characters, more mm-hmm. dynamics, more relationships, and this yeah. is like, this is, um, I forget her name, because I only played it for an hour, um, but <laughs> so she chooses to scare him, but obviously it's um, it's a super massive game, so there are different eventualities, yeah. and if you choose to scare with a spider... Like this is what happens. Oh, these are some so, of the things. Yeah, and it's it's almost a little bit telltale. You, you mm. know that. Oh my God, so and so will remember that. <laughs> All right. So the the clown mask fell flat. I'm guessing the spider does the job. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like so, and then it's but yeah, but it looks great still. Um, they've, they've got some new things in there. Like there's um, let's say Jacob didn't like that. But there's like a, an interrupt mm. now, okay. where you can almost interrupt and change the flow of a conversation, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, there was a scene later on, which you'll see, then we're around the campfire, uh, and they're playing Truth or Dare. Of course they are. It's yeah. a bunch of kids at a lake house. Telling ghost I mean? stories and stuff, I imagine, Ex- and all that Exactly. Jazz. Yeah, classic. Um, so, like, one of the, the guys asks um, Abby, like, uh, have you ever slept with anyone? Mm-hmm. Uh, and obviously, she's like a little bit, like, timid, and she's like, oh, oh, oh. And then you can interrupt and go, oh, come on, let's let's be a little bit more reasonable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he, he, he goes, oh, hold on, I, I haven't finished the question. And then he finishes the question. But obviously, you can let that run, and you can be a bit of a dickhead, and that kind of thing. But, yeah, I played it yeah. for an hour. Um, it's very much in the same vein as Until Dawn. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a scary in the woods kind of, um, you know, like your eighties, nineties. Um, yeah. What what you call them? The, the what's the trope, Rich? You, you're what, like the, yeah. Sort of. Oh, I know what you mean. What, sort of slasher. contained. Yeah, slasher flick. Yeah, sort yeah, of contained a bit in a, like that. Only a single location for the most part, and right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot. Uh, yeah. There's a lot going on in this area. Well, this um, is more my sort of thing as well. I got to say, this this appeals to me more than the anthology stuff. Yeah, because like this is what I loved about Until Dawn. It's like the mm. mystery of it, and the mystery of it is is back in this. It's like you'll you'll read stuff when you're going around the environment, and that'll obviously change how the story and the paths go and stuff like that. And then there's obviously your your teenage. I think they're teenagers. They must be. Um, yeah. But like, it's the bonding sequences. Like, oh, and it's like, oh, what do you do with a gun? Are you responsible with a gun? And that kind of thing. And it just goes through that. But the, the woods, there's there's a couple of different threats that you can't kind of work out. And I think that's the beauty of it. Like, you've got some some weird kind of guys there as well. And it's a bit like, 
like, oh, well, who are these guys? But then, are they good or bad? And then there's some mysterious creature or something uh, we actually don't know in the woods. Mm. And it's like, oh, it's like, what's the deal with that? And because in the last one, it was like, oh, in Until Dawn, it was like, oh, what is that? And yeah. like, is it some, is it just some guys messing around or is it actually some entity? Um, See, this is the, so, this, this is one of the fundamental problems with these games is that the mystery is a bit daft and it sort of takes away the kind of scare factor, I think. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, like, did you finish Until Dawn? I did. So, I don't, obviously, no spoilers, but, mm-hmm. like, what did you feel of the uh, the antagonist? Let's go with there. So, I, th- I thought it kind of blew the mystery a bit once you knew really? what you were dealing with. A little bit, yeah. I mean, they were kind of I freaky. I quite liked it. But, I, th- yeah. mm, I don't know, I just felt like the game could have kept its powder dry a little longer, maybe. And dr- drawn yeah. out the kind of suspense, perhaps. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I, I mean, to be honest, this is like chapter three, and they almost effectively fully unveil. Oh, really? Um, yeah, but obviously, I'm not allowed to say for spoilers and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Super massive. Want to keep that under wraps, and rightly so, because that's part of the game. Um, okay. But so it's a little bit. It is a little bit mystery, and it's like, what is it? Who is it? What's mm. the What's the big kind of like hikers are going missing in the woods and it's like oh how's that happened and that kind of thing so there is a bit of mystery um, yeah but obviously i can't tell because i've only played it for like an hour and um obviously these games are like usually eight to ten hours like i don't know yeah. how long this is but um a lot will change over the thing but i want it's, it's um, a, i want a scooby-doo ending where it's the janitor in a mask oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure don't we all in every game <laughs> yeah like, yeah I would have loved that in Mass Effect if the Reaper was just like, actually, I'm the janitor. And just pulls <laughs> sure. off a big mask. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It felt a little bit more Life is Strange as well, this, because there's loads of yeah. licensed music everywhere. It feels right. like they're, they're building in... Because the licensed music in Life is Strange is like fantastic, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So like, there's more of that in there, the, the interrupts in there, and yeah, I just... And obviously there's the, the tarot cards, which are... I can't remember what they were in the last one. It's like, it's, you know, that like you have, you had, was it the psychiatrist uh, in yeah, the last one? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, the... Um, the Pe- was it Peter Stormare, was uh, it? Yeah, I can't remember. Because the, it, the, it was the curator, wasn't it, in the anthology, but he had a different name yeah. until dawn. But it was the same so sort of basic concept. Yeah, so we have something like that in it, and she's, she's basically a, a tarot reader. Right. And you pick up tarot cards as you go. Okay. But also, Rich, in this game, you can do... Um, you can basically do movie mode and just create everyone's personalities and just watch it play out if you want. Mm. See, I don't also, really um, get the appeal of doing an everyone lives, everyone dies thing because then you oh, know, I don't know the They're fun to watch. But they're you, fun to watch. Uh, I guess. But you could do the director's chair like this, but also if you just want to make the QTEs easier and stuff like that, there's all options like that as yeah. well too, Rich. Okay, um, that's interesting. And it's out soon, isn't it, Rich? Rich, when's uh, it out? I feel like it's out in June. Like, quite soon, yeah. I think. Is it the 10th? June 10th? 10th of June? June 10th, yeah. If we're both yeah. thinking June 10th, let's go with June yeah, yeah. 10th. <laughs> yes, sounds um, right. But like, as you can see, you can change all the personalities and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and as you see on the closing shot, Rich, mm-hmm. you can change uh, QTE lengths and stuff like that and just to make it, just to kind of make it your game in terms of speed, button mash, interrupt mm. speed and all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's the quarry. Um, it's out on June 10th thanks for watching folks don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time cheers folks bye bye